well, let's see the consequence. It goes a solid. I mean, you'd say the treacle was itself a glass. At very low temperatures, treacle is glass. Flows very, very slowly. We know rocks are solid. But if you take rock that has come out from the center of the earth, the center of the earth is a very hot place, so it comes out through a volcano, it comes out as a lava. So you've got a small video now just to show you some lava flowing down from a volcano. Another important difference between solids, liquids, and gases is that gases are very compressible. We've already seen that. You know, we can feel the compression in our bicycle pump. Solids and liquids are, on the whole, only slightly compressible or extendable. Take your bicycle. You've got a brake, and there's a wire that goes from your brake down to the brake pads on the front of your wheel. Now, if when you press the brake handle, the wire was very, very flexible, if it was like a piece of elastic, then obviously you wouldn't stop your bicycle. But wires are not like that. They're only slightly extendable. So when you do that, that pressure goes all the way down to the brake on your wheel and you stop your bike. In your car, when you get in a car, how do the brakes work in a car? They actually work because there is a liquid which goes through a pipe from the brake pedal down to the brakes. So when you press on this liquid, you actually get that message passed all the way down. It presses also on the brakes, which are going to stop the wheel turning over. Now, I've talked about something we call elasticity, you know, solids are extendable to a certain extent, not very much. Elastic bands are very elastic. When we stretch them, they come back again. If I take a piece of wire, it's just a bit of wire from my coat hangers, which I've cut off, and I bend it, it comes back again to the place that it was before providing I don't bend it too much. If I bend it a lot, then I go past what we call the region of elasticity and it's bent completely. But it, it doesn't break. My piece of wire is a very flexible thing. Other solids, a little bit bendable, but they'll break very easily. We talk about something being very brittle as compared with something that is rather elastic. So now, let me turn to some, another property, another important property. I'm going to talk about the way in which heat is conducted down through a wire. So I've got a little experiment here. You see, Different solids conduct heat in different amounts. Wires, metals are very good heat conductors. Other types of things, like a piece of wood or what I've got on the end here, a piece of cork is a very bad heat conductor. So I've got on the end here, the end of this piece of wire, I've got two pieces of wax. I've got a piece of wax directly attached to the wire and a piece of wax which is on the cork. So we're going to heat that up. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> 